Hi everyone, my name is Zahra and welcome back to my channel, Zahra Licious. I've decided to start a new program called Did You Know with Zahra Licious, aka me. Did you know that the moon is shrinking? Yes, as weird as it sounds, I have a reasonable explanation for it. There are rocks inside the moon. These rocks are getting cooler and they're shrinking. Therefore, they're affecting the overall size of the moon. But do not worry because the beautiful moon will still be visible from our dear Earth. I hope you enjoyed today's fact. Bye! See you next time! Hi everyone! Welcome back to the second episode of Did You Know with Zahra Licious. Did you know that sharks are afraid of dolphins? Yes! Sure, dolphins can be viewed as friendly and harmless creatures, but they can be aggressive, especially when they want to. Dolphins are flexible, they often travel in pods, they're fast, they're intelligent, and they have a special feature called echolocation, where they can sense dangers from miles away. On the other hand, sharks aren't really flexible or speedy. Now, imagine a shark tries to bite a group of dolphins. They can easily twist around using their flexibility skills and zoom away using their speedy skills. They can also attack the shark and maneuver it, making the shark lose the battle and victory to the dolphins. Now that's what I call teamwork. Good job, dolphins. Bye! Welcome back to the third episode of Did You Know with Zahra Licious. Did you know that in 1968, only 13 cars, 13 cars were registered in Dubai? Yes, can you believe that? Today, more than 3.5 million cars are registered in UAE. And out of those cars, more than 1.8 million are registered in Dubai. For the people who don't have cars, there are easy to access and safe transportation systems, such as the metro, the tram, the buses, and the taxis. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye! Did you know that Surah Al-Alaq was the first surah that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the month of Ramadan? Yes. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq Khalaq al-insana min alaq Iqra' wa rabbuka al-akram this surah lays emphasis on knowledge and how it is beneficial to humanity. Knowledge is wealth. If you want to succeed in something, you need to learn about it. God says, know me before you worship me. If you do so, you will know what he likes and what not, helping you to worship him in the best way possible. Worshipping is not only about praying, it's also about treating people kindly and generously, irrespective of how they treat you. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the fifth episode of Did You Know with Zahra Licious. Did you know that yummy chocolate chip cookies were an accidental invention? Yes, when an American chef, Ruth Wakefield, was trying to make a new recipe for her restaurant, she put chocolate chips on a cookie dough thinking that the chips would melt and cover the cookie making a, a chocolate cookie but to her surprise when she took them out of the oven the chocolate chips were still in their solid state she sold it to her customers they really liked it and they shared it and shared it until it reached the whole world that's it hope you enjoyed this one Welcome back to the sixth episode of Did You Know with Zahra Alicious. Did you know that this famous Statue of Liberty in the United States of America was originally bronze in color? Yes, actually when I found out about this, I was flabbergasted. The statue was made of copper, which is a highly reactive metal. Therefore, 
It reacted with the air and water molecules, giving it the greenish color that it has today. In other words, it oxidized. Have you ever wondered what the seven spikes on the Statue of Liberty's crown represent? Well, they represent the seven continents and the seven seas of the world. This statue was also inspired by the Roman god Liberta. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. Did you know that Abbas bin Farnas was the first person to introduce the concept of flying? Yes, it was not Leonardo da Vinci or the Wright brothers. Abbas bin Farnas used to wonder how birds could fly in the air. He thought if birds could fly, humans can too. He made wings out of wood, silk, and real bird feathers. He jumped from the top of a mountain and began to fly. He was known to stay in flight for 10 minutes until he crash landed and broke his backbone. Despite this, he did not give up. After 12 years of research, he realized his mistake, which is not adding a tail to his model. He observed the bird carefully and noticed that they have a tail to secure a safe landing. That, my friends, is how the concept of flying began. Bye! Hi everyone! Welcome back to the 8th episode of Did You Know with Zaharalicious. Did you know that turtles have two brains? Yes, the first brain is located in the head and controls the sensory organs, such as the ears, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. While the second brain is located in the neck region and controls the legs, the tail, and other body parts. Imagine, just imagine, if humans had two brains. Whoa, you wouldn't have to overwork everything in one brain. Sometimes on some assignments, I spend almost the whole day trying to complete them. But if I had two brains, I think I'd be able to complete them in just 30 minutes. By the way, I'm getting a pet turtle soon. Bye, see you next time. Welcome back to the ninth episode of Did You Know with Zahra Delicious. Did you know that the Burj Khalifa has seven world records? Wow! Number one, the tallest building in the world, standing at 828 meters high. It's so tall that it can be seen from 95 kilometers away. Two, the tallest freestanding structure in the world. Three, the highest number of stories in the world. Four, the highest occupied floor in the world. Five, the highest outdoor observation deck in the world standing at 555 meters. Six, the elevator with the longest travel distance in the world. Seven, the tallest service elevator in the world. Wow. <gasps> Hi everyone. Did you know that the microwave was an accidental invention? Yes, when an American engineer, Percy Spencer, was working in a lab full of radar waves, noticed that the chocolate bar in his pocket had melted and he suspected that it had something to do with radar waves. He experimented the same with the corn kernel and an egg but the egg was said to explode in his face while the corn kernel turned into popcorn. Then he figured out that radar waves could heat and cook things. And then he put this contraption in a box and ta-da! We've got our microwave. The first microwave were as tall as 1.8 meters, they cost around 5,000 USD and they were 340 kg. Wow! That is a big difference between the price of the microwaves then and today. And remember, whenever you're heating your food, just say thank you to Percy Spencer.